Didn't I warn y'all about Charleston White? Didn't I tell y'all Charleston White and what y'all was out here praising him to be? Charleston White don't care about the black community. Charleston White is not talking about violence and, you know, um, ill repute to basically uplift the black community. He's talking about it in a way to pretty much state that the black community ain't you know what. Charleston White is a problem. And when you do what you did, what he did on that interview, I think it was yesterday or Wednesday. Let me tell you something. Charleston White, I hate to, I'm, I'm not saying it as a, as in, a, in the terms of gloating, but he just put himself out there as a target. Because now nobody is going to invite him to be a guest on their program, number one. And number two, this nonprofit money that you have, you can lose your nonprofit status by pulling out any weapons. A lot of people don't know that, okay? And another thing, too, you just proved T.I., Boozy, and their children write about you. There is something mentally not there with you, okay? You doing all this stuff to catch clout. You want to be in the shoes with these rappers, but it never happened because when they, when when you was a kid, you was locked up because you chose to delete someone. You chose to delete someone and you have issues and you never basically got the counseling to basically get help from it. But you see, I love it when chickens come home to roost. That was chicken come home, come home to roost moment. And shout out to the um, interviewer, DJU. Shout out to him. Because that's the real one. Because he wasn't scared. And now the fact that you couldn't pretty much punk the man and you pulled out that weapon, honey, you your days of clout chasing and calling people out are over. But I'ma talk about it from hip hop double XL. Let's get into it. Shall we? Hey, 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 I hope your Thanksgiving was wonderful and happy holidays to you and your family. And it's Sagittarius season, so I know a lot of y'all are going to be turned up. So Charleston White, as I said before, he basically went on an interviewer's um, platform. His name is called DJ University. That's his actual um, name. And he's straight out of Chicago. And so I'm going to read to you what happened and I'm going to give my analysis. It reads, Charleston White pulls weapon on interviewer over King Von question. A recent Charleston White interview went left after gang member turned internet personality pulled a gun on the interviewer. White sat down for a conversation with Chicago's DJ University University yeah, University on Wednesday, November 23rd, where he spoke about lending financial help to the mother of the late rapper FBG Duck, who was shot and deleted in the Windy City on in August 2020. DJ University called out Charleston White for not helping the mothers of other deceased Chicago rappers, especially considering the city's complicated and in some case dangerous deadly drill rap scene with that part being said the only thing that kind of like i guess bothers the chicago community is like if you want to do that you got to do that for everybody dj university said dj used comments prompting an angry response from charleston white who took issue with people telling him how to spend his money when they aren't willing to fork over them fork out themselves i ain't gotta do that y'all gotta do it chicago can suck my he snapped how you going to put that on me when y'all ain't even done a little of what I done? How you going to dictate what I'm going to do with my heart when you don't even have it in your heart to do it? From the knowledge I got, King Vaughn was a, was a deleter. My mama had two sons locked up for murder. And my mama let everybody know I'm not in agreement with what my son's done. How can you, how you can't take me Care how you can't make me care about King Vaughn. So you can't make me care about King Vaughn, Mama. 
F that bitch. I don't give a F about his mama. DJU pointed out that FBG Duck and King Vaughn had be prior to their passing. So him supporting Duck's mother could be seen as slight against Vaughn. White has made disparaging comments about Vaughn since his early, since his November 2020 murder. Telling academics earlier this year that he has no sympathy for the slain rapper. I don't know that. I don't give a damn about it. Why continue? Listen, I helped his mama. Why? Why I need to know about two dead ass ends. I don't give an F about Duck or Vaughn. I helped his living mama. F them dead ends. They preach about killing ends. Why y'all not helping their mama? Why uh, n- uh from Texas got to pay his mama car note. Why? And y'all want to tell me what I'm going to do with my money. Charleston White became even more enraged and directed his anger at FBG Duck's mother and the city of Chicago before reaching for his gun. Y'all going to help the bitch since y'all got so much to say? Bitch, give me back the money then, ho. Funky ass bitch. I ain't have to help Nan one of you rotten assholes. My mama ain't got a bunch of kids that died. All you hoes that buried your babies, fuck your pain, bitch. In Chicago, fuck y'all. Suck my bitch. I keep a goddamn gun for whatever. White then got up from the sofa and retrieved his gun, reappearing on camera with a pistol in his hand. DJ University. And members of his film crew also stood up and urged him to put the gun down. But White refused to back down and cocked his pistol while threatening the group. You better sit down, homie. What you mean? What I'm on? Don't F with me with a gun in my hand, nigga. He warned. After a tis shouting match, DJ University and one of his associates stormed out of the room while another member of his crew attempted to calm White down. The argument continued until the video eventually cut out. DJ University later addressed the heated interview on Instagram, writing, I represent Chicago, any and everywhere I go. I was giving this goof old ass man the benefit of the doubt because he claimed to be a character when saying some of the disrespectful shit he's been saying. But where I'm from, once you up on an MF, you got to use it. Hashtag DJ, you go crazy. This is the first time Charleston White has made headlines for wheels and a weapon. In July, the Texas native claims he pepper sprayed Soulja Boy during a physical confrontation after he questioned the rapper's street credibility. Big Draco later addressed the incident and called out White for how he handled the situation. I don't want no smoke when none of you ends, he said on Instagram Live. If I knew that you ends was going to get on the internet, talk all this gangster shit, all this crazy shit, and reach in your girl purse and start spraying pepper spray in the air running ends like it's a trail, nigga. What the fuck? You men so scared of me? Y'all ends going to pull out pepper spray. Out your bitch purse? Running with pepper spray? Mmm. Mmm. He reveals himself. You know, you see, the Lord mer- works in mysterious ways. And karma always gets you. And I love it because it comes at a thief of the night. He played his own self. He actually played in the hands of DJU. DJU was amping him up when he asked that trick question, which was, why did you just um, help one of the mothers, which was um, Mama Duck, but you could have helped King Vaughn's mother? Now, DJU didn't have to ask that question, but he knew it would have ticked him off. And remember what DJU said, this man already disrespecting people online. He'd been saying disrespectful stuff, but he was like, you know, I gave this goofball the benefit of the doubt. Because he says that when he's, you know, he's in character when he's saying disrespectful things. So he pulls it out of him. And he got him so angry that he pulled out the weapon. Charleston White is done. He lost his credibility. Now, let's go into the things that were said. I will say one thing. Charleston White can spend his money and give whoever he wants to give. That's the one thing I will say. To him with analyzing this. He's right. You can't tell somebody to give this money to everyone. Give this person one um, amount of money but not give the other. He's right. He doesn't have to. 
But here's the thing. If you're saying that you're helping a community and you are putting yourself out there as you helping someone to be neutral and to ba- and basically like simmer down the beefs and whatever, since you inter- intercepted yourself by, you know, giving donations, he should have gave both. Because this way, it would have seemed like, you know, I really just want y'all to be at peace and stop this, you know, violence that's going on in Chicago, so to speak. I'm about helping and healing communities because, you know, the mothers are still here and so are some of their kids. But Charleston White, you do things for controversy. And as I said before, you troll young black men. You don't troll young white men, young Latino men. Young Asian men, young Arab men, you troll young black men. You don't troll older black men. Yeah, T.I. is like, what, 42 to your 52, but you only started beefing with him and Boozy, who's 40, because of their sons. You was going after their sons. You have an issue with young black male youth because you lost your freedom from the time you was about, I think, 12 or 13 up until you was about maybe 24, 25. Or make, I, I don't know. You never really enjoyed your youthhood. That's what it is. So this is your chance to get back at what you lost that you chose to basically give up by deleting someone. But I just love it. I just love it. But what I love is that DJ U stood his ground and his old crew. You can't go to Chicago no more. You can't go to Chicago. And Armand Wiggins said it best. He said... You know, I really don't talk about this man, but I will never go to Chicago. And he said, because if you pull out an Uzi and the person don't flinch, you know, you know, these people are dangerous in Chicago. Then he didn't flinch. He didn't flinch at all. He didn't flinch, but I loved it. Get his ass. Get his ass up out of here. He needs to go. And shout out to my homie, Brother Pharaoh Speaks. Because, Pharaoh, I know you're going to be talking about this over the weekend. Okay? Because me and you be on the same page when it comes to this clown. This clown ain't ish. I've been saying it since last month. But y'all wasn't listening to me, though. Y'all was like, oh, no, he helping the community. B.S. He's out for himself. He is an agent of chaos. He does not like black people, particularly young black men. And him, what we need to do, which I've been doing, ignore him. And once you ignore him, just he won't come around. You got to not feed the beast. When you pay attention to Charleston White, you're feeding the beast. And so with that being said, I'm signing off. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And a safe weekend. Stay cool. Stay warm if you in the Northeast or um, Midwest area, um, Northwest, because it's kind of cold. And I'll talk to y'all later. Take care.